That's right. Android 16 is launching today, so get your phones ready to install the next big version from Google. For months now, we've known that Google is on schedule to release the stable version of Android 16 in June 2025. And while many had suspected that it was going to be delayed for one reason or another, that hasn't been the case at all. So you're going to want to get prepared to install Android 16 because it's going to be released later on today. As usual, we can not expect to see Google Pixel phones to be the first to receive this new update. This includes the company's sole tablet and foldable phone as well. And all of these recent devices will be eligible for the new upgrade to Android 16. So as long as you own a Pixel 6 series phone or later, then you're golden and you will be able to update later today. Today is also the day when Google will publish its AOSP source code to the public too. So OEMs like Samsung, OnePlus, Xiaomi, Motorola, and others will gain access to the new update at the same time. And I highly suspect more than one of these companies to have at least one person on the clock to begin working on the transition for their team. Sadly, it's unclear when these other updates will be released, but we are seeing a few of these companies already starting on their beta test for Android 16, which means we may end up seeing some of these updates rolled out sooner rather than later. So far, we know Android 16 will be the version that sees the big Material 3 expressive redesign. However, this new look is not coming today. Instead, this will be the headlining feature of Android 16 QPR1, aka Quarterly Platform Release 1. These updates are pushed out once per quarter, so we should expect to see that update launched around September. We are, however, getting the new redesigned Quick Settings panel today, so be sure to check out the new way of accessing the Notifications panel and Quick Settings tiles on your smartphone or tablet. Dark theme on Android 16 is said to be getting much darker. Google has added a convenient profile switcher widget, and some rumors point to a new Pixel Themes feature that will help to group wallpapers, color schemes, icon styles, and more. And that should make switching between them much quicker and easier than ever before. Advanced Protection Mode is said to launch with Android 16 as well, Improved factory reset protections is coming too, and a new explicit permission request is finally being added for apps to be able to access your local network. Android 16 will be getting some new APIs that allow third-party apps to define the amplitude and frequency curves of haptic effects. Notification cooldown will automatically lower the volume and minimize alerts from apps that are sending too many notifications in quick succession. And we're also seeing new APIs to allow third-party apps the ability to take advantage of adaptive refresh rate, also known as ARR, for better battery life or a smoother user experience, depending on how the developer wants to set things up. AuraCast is said to be expanding in this update for improved hearing aid support and audio sharing capabilities. There are some new settings for changing your region and setting your preferred measurement system. And there's a new feature called Live Updates, which will work similarly to Apple's Dynamic Island, offering animated and real-time updates for certain apps like ride sharing and food delivery notifications. 
And that's just the beginning of these new features that are coming with Android 16. So be sure to share your favorite new features down in the comment section below so that I can see what all of you are excited about most. Google tends to release these big updates a little later on in the day, but be sure to tap on that check for update button each time you get a chance. Anyone who is currently on the Android 16 beta program, you're gonna to want to ignore that next over the air update notification until Google has released Android 16 QPR1 to the public. This will allow you to opt out of the program in September, and that will get you back to the stable channel yet again. Just be sure to read through all of the text in that update notification page that gets sent to you, as it will tell you if it's safe to leave the beta or not. I'll be spending the rest of the day getting Android 16 installed on my Pixel 9 Pro XL here, and we'll definitely be working on an Android 16 feature compilation video over the next week or two. But hopefully I can get that video out before the end of this week. And as always, feel free to use the comment section down below to share your thoughts on this new update. And be sure to click that like button under this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android news content like this.